So <laughs> people got upset with me in part four because not because I said the game was bad, but because I said or because I didn't show that the uh, the meta bots in the in the in the intro they're like meta bots. But here's why: because <laughs> I originally had a bit where I just kept rewinding that to get the the guy to sound like he was going men men <laughs> like Jordan Peterson. <laughs> Because it sounded so stupid and so fucking funny. And I was like, I'm gonna, this is a stupid bit. I'm going to cut this. I don't need it. Uh, and then, like, I also cut the intro from that by accident. <laughs> so that's why. I did intend to put the intro, like, the, the meta bots, bots, bots intro into the video. But also, I kept doing this. I think I did it for eight minutes. <laughs> like, I just didn't. I did it back and forth, dead-eyeing the camera. Uh, and then I was like, I, let me cut this. This is stupid. And then, then I, you know, and uh, ended up being a, a bad thing. No, I gotta stop. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna turn my webcam off. <laughs> I wanted you guys to know that I understand how important that intro is but that's what sacrifices had to be made um all right where to begin i had a meltdown last episode uh i'm not gonna apologize for it because i think a lot of what i said was right but also i was pretty fresh off of uh the rollout of breath of the wild uh and views are not as good as i had hoped and i was a little upset about it a lot of people told me uh nick just play whatever you want I'm like, that, that, no, that's literally not how it works. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I did play whatever I wanted and then nobody watched it. <laughs> so like, that's not a viable option. And when people are saying like, oh, well don't play it if it doesn't like, if you don't want to, if, uh, if it's not something you want to play, it's like to an extent, like if I'm miserable and I really don't want to play a game, I won't play it. But like people seem to enjoy these videos. So I, I want to play them. What confused me. And I still think is like the main point is. Everyone kept saying how good this game was. And I was like, this game sucks. What do you mean? Like, <laughs> it's so bad. And like, I was just like, I felt gaslighted. Or I felt like I was just like going crazy. Where I was like, everyone has only said positive things about this game. And it's such a drag for me. Am I missing something? Is it like, and to the point where I finally had enough, like, I was enough, like, self assured enough where I was like, no. It's the children who are wrong. It's this game is not good. A uh, couple tips. Uh, let me pull up the comments here. I want to, uh, cause there were some really good ones. Uh, oh boy. I have to go back. I haven't played Metabots in uh, about six weeks. Is uh, the last time I recorded this. Uh, so, you know, it's been a while. Uh, let me, uh, let me pull up the comments on this. And let's see. So, uh, we got a lot from under, um, we got some from Night Demon, uh, Damien. I want to thank Damien for finally revealing that I'm not an insane person. With I think the concept is really good, but I'm definitely going to the same issues you are, and it's wearing on me too. Thank you. That's all I wanted. <laughs> I just wanted acknowledgement that I wasn't going insane. Uh, uh, I feel like, and then from under, I feel like your biggest struggle is the lack of understanding of what to do for each metabot. The mix and match does does work, but generally stick to meta parts that offer bonuses. It's so like for Bat, an example, the Psycho series would give you a bonus and allow you to fly uh, to hit flying enemies harder than usual. I want to be very clear because this comment came up a couple times. I know to use the the meta parts that have bonuses. I'm, I obviously, the problem was I wasn't getting any. Like, let me pull up the the thing. So if we go to a. Uh, let me do it this way. You go to Metabot. It's been a while. I gotta remember how this how this works. So it's a bat type, right? I have the Psycho Missile. And that's it. So, like, that's where the frustration came from. Like, I understand the idea of, like, use the meta parts that, like, give you a bonus. Obviously. But, like, I'm not getting any of said parts. So I was like, do other... If I had picked a different one, if I hadn't picked bat... Would they have been giving me better parts? And I'd like, cause like that was my big thing. It's like, yeah, I have a second metabot, but it's worthless because it doesn't have any bonuses. That's what I was trying to say. So the couple people who said like, you know, pick the bonuses, I, I know, I, I also played the game. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, it's, it feels like uh, Under also said, uh, all in all, the beginning is a slog to get through because of how weak you are. But I feel like once you're done here, the section, uh, the game gets more fun. I believe that. That's that's kind of what I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear that it just like stops. <laughs> like, um, and then uh, and then from Ice, how dare you not include the title screen? He's right. Uh, and then I, Plantina or Plat- Platina Gabumon. Uh, gave some very, very lengthy, in-depth tips here. I'm not going to read the whole thing just because they're a while, but I do uh, want to go uh, through some of it. So it's like Pokemon, but based off of what their, uh, what legs you have. Water type gets beaten by anti-C. Flying type gets beaten by anti-air, of course. I, I know what anti means. <laughs> Roller is like normal and bulky, but I recall super slow, so I wouldn't recommend that because you just want to max... Uh, that because you want to max DPS. Don't worry about the encounter rate. In the next town, you get a vehicle that stops encounters. Okay, that is helpful. You can almost use it everywhere. I can't even read the whole comment. Uh, always use a second uh, a scout headpiece in the, in the second bot because that will give you more chance to hit. It makes your game easier. My recommendation for your second meta bot, bulky and have a scout part to raise rate of hitting. The reason I like this game is because the combat makes you swap parts for your field. The type of meta bot you're facing, it's super in-depth for early game. Once you get past the old lady section, the game gets easier because the female bot has healing and scouting. But as I said, don't worry about encounters. You're all right. Da, 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 da. Uh, make sure to have parts of the arrow through the circle. They have extra damage breaking parts. Hope this helps. Would love to see you continue to play this through. I'm playing your Kucho version, having a blast. Uh, hopefully that should help. Remember, meta B is DPS, and then we want to tank and a healer. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I know basic uh, MMORPG strategy. You have a... Uh, Tank to obviously tank the hits. That's the whole reason the name tank. Uh, DPS for doing the damage. And then healer to keep the tank healed and the DPS so they get stray shots. Um, but it seems like it's RNG what part drops depending on what metal you have. And use the parts that work with the metal so you get added power to your metal force. That's why, the, why it's key to keep all of metal be, meta be together. Okay. So, I did read the comments. I, I, I appreciate uh, some of the more in-depth stuff. So... <sighs> it's just, I'm just stepping to go back to it and just slowly kind of taking it in. Uh, by the way, the comment I made in part three about mermaids, what this girl uses, which I cannot recommend enough to get those parts. So I guess the mermaid is supposed to be pretty good too. I don't know. So my, my big thing is that I have no bat parts. So I feel like my second metabot is kind of dead in the water, which is upsetting. Um, so optic doubles your power. No, that's not it. Looks melting damage, rifle, press, doubles your success rate. Scout. Okay, here we go. Raises all allies' chance of hitting. So I want to do that. And then, uh, I guess support, right? Raises an ally chance of hitting. Sure. Uh, I don't think I have anything. Oh, I do. Raises allies' chance of hitting. Sure. So I think that the legs are where the bulk comes from. Not influenced by any field. So this makes it really slow. But because I'm not attacking, I don't really care if I'm slow. Uh, right? Like, it doesn't matter. Best when battling in sh uh, shore and underwater fields, so we have that. Fly, fly, best when battling in plains and desert. Battle's okay in all fields. Uh, battling rocky field and valley fields. Right? So I guess these do matter. Like, I know people said that, but it's sort of just like, I didn't... She doesn't really take it to heart. Alright, so we'll build a big tanky boy for our, our second one, at least until we get anti-air parts. Meta B will remain unchanged. My, my big question with Meta B is, like, Typically in games like this, um, I'll use Kingdom Hearts Recoded as an example. So, typically when you have like a signature look, like Meta B is supposed to, this is what Meta B is supposed to look like. Uh, it's weird when games give you all of the parts like right off the bat, because it, it feels wrong somehow to be like, okay, so this game is heavy about customization, but then you have one meta bot that you just don't customize, uh, which is odd. And I, the, the reason I use Recoded is that, um, they start you off with the Kingdom Key, the, the main Keyblade that you use in that game, like that they use in all the games, the, the big silver one with the yellow handle. And then right before the end, you get one that's like the Kingdom Key, but it's like a digital version because the whole thing is about like, you know, you're, it's all like buggy and like data and stuff. But it looks like the Kingdom Key again. So that was my big thing with Meta B is like, am I going to get other like Kabuto parts that look like Meta B, but like slightly like more powerful? But it seems like that's not really the case. It seems like you just stick with Meta B the whole game. Which feels really counterintuitive, but I can I can sort of dig it. Okay. So, let's see if I can just re-challenge that girl over and over again. I don't think I'll have to, because I think we'll get enough battles. Oh, it's this guy again. Ah, oh, the Rubber Robo Gang. Who the heck are you? Okay. Robo, 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 Robo. <laughs> 
All right, let's try it out. Let's see the new strat. Uh, let's try and... That's gonna hit his legs. That's also gonna hit his legs. And that's gonna hit his arm. Okay, we'll try the arm then. And then... Hey man, <laughs> listen. You're just gonna... You're just gonna scout. I don't know if I have to like use the scout ability to like get the thing. And I got metaphors, that's not a good sign. Okay. Okay, this one's kind of weak. Virus. He's like poison on me? What is, what is this? Okay. Status effect. Oh, great. Movement rate of success down. Cool, dude. That's super fun. Okay. Entire team scoutability raise. Success rate of something. Okay. Um, so that's also going to target the arm. So is that. This targets the legs. Let's go to chain gun. Metaphors gathered. I'm worried about what, what that Gorum is going to do, but I got to take care of the main dude first. Uh, cut radar, I guess. Oh, these do different things. I mean, I haven't missed yet. So that's a good sign. Tell me he wants to attack with that arm. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> I'm never lucky. Ooh, legs down. That's not good. That's actually pretty bad. Uh, still only targeting the arms. Okay. <laughs> missed. <laughs> Cannot gather any more metaphors. I don't know what that thing's trying to do. Virus again. Took out my arm. This is going great. Uh, try and go for that. So much for tanking, by the way. It's like it just keeps targeting Metavi. Okay. Got his legs. Uh, actually, hold on, wait. I think I, I think I couldn't scout. Let's do this one. All right, my arm's down. That sucks. Hit him with an aim shot, I guess. Okay. Good. Thanks, Metabee. Good job. Glad you targeted that one. That was really important of you. So far, it seems like the tank strategy isn't working the way I want it to because of the weird way you target in this game. It seems like they're just hitting me. All right, well, he should only have his head left. There we go. That is That was risky, but I, I, I see the function of it. I just need, like, I wish there was a, a meta part that let me, like, aggro the other enemies. All right, we got Slither. Nice. Elegant Rocky Field and Valley Fields. I guess these are Rocky and Valley Field. It says right there, Rock, okay. I'm beaten. Catch you, Mickey. Gotcha. Robo huh? Don't move. Why? Jesus. Icky. I didn't do it. What if a kid drowned because of that? Oh no, I gotta I gotta get help. What happened to that robot that was like ferrying people? Oh my god. <laughs> help! You're in the middle of training, eh? Try your best. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Hey, it's this guy. Hey, you there. Want to ride for, for a dollar? Robo Robo. Glub Glub. I'm going to save all my money and buy some new meta parts. But if I attach new meta parts, I won't be able to transform. It's kind of harsh, Robo Robo. Glub Glub. What? You're going to go with the flow? Okay, I'll stay out of it. Oh my god. Wah! I'm sorry. I suppose that was supposed to happen. Where am I? Oh my god, dude. He's in a fucking kimono. <laughs> what is it with this game, dude? What? <laughs> That's twice. We're at part five. <laughs> oh, you're awake, are you? Oh, you surprised me there. Suddenly a child fell from the waterfall. You're the one who saved me, ma'am. My little, my little ones. I thought it said my little ass. I, I can't stress enough how awful this text looks. Uh, my little one saved you, dearie. I changed your outfit for you. 
Oh, and Deary, call me Cammy, uh, Cammy or Canny. I honestly can't tell. I think Cammy if I look in OBS. Uh, Cammy. Yep, and you are. I'm Icky. What a cute name you have. He 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 he. Scary. Well, uh, where's the one who saved me? He's the one. An airtight metabot. Can I have your parts? It's a gift from my granddaughter. I see. Thank you for saving me. I only thought you might be delicious. <laughs> what? He likes to say crazy things. Pay him no mind. He <laughs> he. Uh, I'm fine now. See, all better. Gotta run. Where are you going, dearie? He <laughs> he. Creepy. That old woman has got to be the mountain hag that they all talk about. She finds children and fattens them up for her dinner. <sighs> okay. I wonder how Yamagi is doing. You say Yamagi? I don't even like saying that ghost name. What ghost? He got my mouth in front of a stranger. I'm embarrassed. Any letters come from Cammy? You say Cammy. Do you mean the old woman? Why would she get a letter? He got my mouth up in front of a stranger. I'm embarrassed. Okay. I lost Cammy's letter. Oh my god. Please. Please tell me it's in a random square somewhere. Old woman. Oh my god, dude. Uh, I can still show you kids a thing or two. Alright. Let's get to it. Uh, can I get lucky and just like hit like an actual critical part, please? Hey, finally, dude. Like, actually doing work. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Some machine gun aims for the legs. Missile aims the arm. Also aims the arm. Well, with missile. I don't know why sometimes I got, uh... Sometimes I got Metaphors charged in the last battle. I don't know why it decides... Or what makes it decide when and where to do it. Cool, a crit. Thanks. Super helpful. I appreciate that a lot. Um, okay. Lead Komori continues to gain Metaphors, uh, but doesn't have a Metaphors. It's really cool. Okay. And he also the legs. Actually, I guess I shouldn't be worried about hitting his legs. They have very, they're very weak. They have like no HP. Um. Oh, going right for the head. Let's do it. All right. Well, this time the tank worked. They only targeted him. We got Swick. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry to be a bother, but just how can I get home? We can't let you leave just like that. <laughs> I'm really fatty, not tasty at all. He's saying, Deary, I'm talking about work. I'm asking you to drive away the uh, wild metabots who would who would injure my babies. I have a boss somewhere in the area. You still look yummy. Alright, I... This is, what a weird game. What a weird goddamn game. I wonder how you know... Okay, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Okay. Well, I can't leave. Oh, now I can. Okay. That was weird. So it's like the random battles in this area are just like the old woman instead of just, I don't know, not having random battles in this area? Is that so crazy, game? Uh, I can't tell where that's targeting. It must be the other arm. Oh, it is, I think. Um, not the target's legs, huh? Alright, we'll do the missile. Okay. Nice. Uh, missile again. This thing is such low HP, I don't really care where we hit it. Cause it's gonna spill over. Okay, it's got two HP left. I think I can. I think I can do this. All right, we got left arm twist. More XP. About middle level up. Okay. Uh, oh, we got you over here. That I can't walk to. Sick. Cool. Uh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make it through here. Oh, this guy has a bat. Maybe, maybe I can get fucking parts from him. Why do you walk the path of violence? Because I'm mad, right? I'm angry, that's why. Uh, okay. Let's see. Finally have an anti-air. Oh, wait, he does have a metaphor. He has anti-air, isn't that right? Oh, maybe I should just charge his metaphors. Um, I'll do his, uh, his head thing once and then charge the metaphors. Okay. 
that. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, go back. Uh, he's only targeting them, but I'll try and hit him in the head at least. Uh, okay. Metaphors. Low. Oh, yeah, he only needs like three, though, doesn't he? Instead of uh, the full bar. I almost hit my head. I don't like that. Uh, I think I can do it now. No. Still need one more. Alright, let's actually hit him in the head this time. Okay, well, they destroyed my meta bots. That's cool. I really appreciated that. That was awesome. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that sucks. They just headshot him. What am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> How am I supposed to compete with headshots? Also, I keep feeling like I'm targeting parts and then not hitting the parts. Which is upsetting. Alright, now this guy's wasting my time. Uh, Alright, well, I'm just going to keep trying to focus this metabot. Oh my god, I hate this. Just kill it. Cool. Oh my god. Okay. Hey, don't die this turn. What did I just say? Alright, what, what, what was I supposed to do differently there? I, like... This sucks. I hate this. I feel so underpowered. How do I, like... I'm gonna try and be less hateful on the game. But how do I... How do I convey that... I am... How upset this game is making me. So... I feel like I'm battling constantly. I feel like every... Like, I'm battling every three steps. And at the same time, despite battling constantly, I feel underpowered. <laughs> and it's driving me crazy. Because I'm like, then what the fuck am I supposed to do? Is it a waste of time? Is it just, like, not... Well, I, like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, now also destroy his legs. Okay. Ah, oh, the damage to the head. All right. One more missile attack to that guy should take him out at this point. It's just a matter of, like, actually keeping my head on. Okay. I don't know why that didn't work before. There we go. Uh, I got Fly Fly. That's not what I wanted. I guess I did. I don't know. I want bad parts. Sometimes people try to carry me off. Beauty is such a sin, teehee. I, this is such a weird game. It's so weird. Still show you because a thing or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, they, they just like sniped my goddamn robot. Especially since there's like no... There's no like... Uh, what do you call it? There's no... Um, there's no like defend that I know of, right? So like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Alright, we'll just put him on auto. Let him, let him play in his own. And save me some time. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing missile because I know it'll... He's got low HP so it'll just like ricochet into multiple parts. There we go. Ah, oh, to be young. Go to metal level up, okay. Wow, there's some nice meta parts. Would you row battle with me? Okay. Oh, you're a sea meta bot. <laughs> Can't do my best if I'm away from the water. That sounds like a personal problem. Uh, alright. Uh, we'll go for the... We'll go for a chain gunshot I get. I guess. We'll go auto for you. Can't tell if it's floating or not. Oh, it's gonna hit the tar the head? Yeah, let's see it. I just get a miss? Excuse me, what is my scout robot doing if I missed? Uh, dying, apparently. Once again. This thing is fast. Well, I guess we are at the ocean side. Thirty-eight. Oh my god, you have so much leg health. I should have looked at that. Hey, don't don't headshot again. Don't do that. That'd be really that would be really not poggers of you. And we we want to be poggers, obviously, right? All right. Since Meta B is at forty, I might as well just charge up the Meta Force. I think that makes the most sense. If Meta B gets to forty naturally, I feel like it just makes sense to take a turn to charge it. <laughs> that works. Yeah, the Meta Force still works. We got Slipper. I had motor, Meta Part. Okay. Robot. Robot battles wear me out, dude. 
preaching the fucking choir. The game takes a lot out of me. <laughs> Just so much. It's so difficult. I like how there's a loss category for uh, meta, bar or meta, battle meta battles, even though you get a game over when you lose. What are you doing? It's great weather today. I'm having lunch. Just say lunch. Want some oil? I'm good, thanks. Oh yeah, that reminds me. My bag is all soaked. My lunch is still safe. Want to eat together? Yeah, man, alright. You lost lunchbox. Lunch bunch. Gulp cup. That was great. It's always better with someone else. This place is pretty dangerous. It'd be best for you to go back qu uh, quickly. Or quickly or quietly? Quickly. Uh, the weirdos will come out soon. Weirdos? They're really weird guys. They wear these strange costumes. The rubber robos? Here, this should help you. Got the right arm metal part, metal part heavy waiter. Thanks. Okay. Uh, let's see. Right arm. That's the right arm. Yes. Unless it's not. <laughs> oh, heavy waiter. I think I already had this. Doubles your success rate. I don't really know what that means. I don't really have a good vibe for that. Um, maybe I should just put the the psycho missile on, but just keep the scout parts. I don't remember where your attack does. Oh, it just shoots anti-air, right? Uh, yeah, fuck it, right? We're finally coming across some anti-air robots, so I might as well. This would be a good spot to stop and grind and try and fight this dude over and over. Try and get more of the flying parts. Let's see if this changes things. Uh, I am going to try and kill you. <laughs> I'll do that, and then I'll just set you to auto. Okay, leg's almost dead. That's a good sign. Okay. God, I hate that I can't pick who I'm targeting. It drives me crazy. Didn't take out his legs yet. Close, though. Uh, oh, there we go. Target in the head. Missed. Cool. Love it. Yeah, why wouldn't I just choose this guy? He's on, He's got one HP left, but let me fight this guy instead. What happens if I do auto instead? I wonder if he won't attack. No, he's attacks him no matter what. Okay. I guess I could just put the game on auto, right? We got Hermit. Can you stop giving me parts from the other goddamn Metabot, please? It's really rude. <laughs> it feels intentional. You have a literal bat Metabot, and I have a, uh, a bat metal. And you can't, we can't make this work. Just throw them both on auto, see what happens. I'm gonna see if Metabee fights differently than I do. Seems like he's just attacking, and it's working out for him. There is, I think part of what kind of frustrates me with this game is that sometimes the game just decides, uh, to not be fair. <laughs> sometimes it just decides, like, ah, eh, you know, they got a crit a bunch of times in a row and you just didn't hit, and they also perfectly honed in on what you're supposed to be, like, on targeting you. Alright, we got Sonic Missile. Okay. That's something. Uh, C Metabot again. Uh, this one might be a little tougher. I like, I had a hard time with the C Metabot on his own. Now he's got a partner. I'll chain gun that, and then... Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess he's affected by anti-air, right? I think he's technically floating. I mean, it seems like he's swimming, but... Uh, I'll just throw you an auto. I don't know what to do with you. He's fast. Not my legs. I missed. Love it. Okay. Hit again. Might as well discharge the Metaphors here. Probably gonna target the other... Uh, oh, hold on. Wrong button. Knowing this game, I'm gonna target the other Metabot instead. Uh, hit the old aim shot. Okay, that sucks. Yep, of course I did. Of course I hit the other one. Why wouldn't I? Oh my god, thank you. A lucky break. Anti-stand. Okay. Alright, give me more bats. It's not a bat. Uh, auto. Uh, if you if you played this game, if you're one of the people who picked up the game after I started doing videos on it, or if you just played it on your own before, do you, uh, do you use auto a lot? 
Is that a thing? Also, I cannot believe I just got a headshot. This game sucks. I hate this. Why is it like this? It's, I hate that my partner Metabot can, can get one shot, but I can't one shot them. I barely, I never do it. I never get, I never am able to pull it off. It sucks. That's a penguin. I don't know what's going on here. Robot laying in the water is my specialty. I believe you. Okay. Maybe I should, uh, hold on. Maybe I should, while I'm here. Why don't I keep going to Metapods hurts first? Why don't I change it? Instead of roller tank, let's go for one that's good with water. Let's let's play the game the way it was meant to be played. So this is shore and underwater fields. Okay. Let's get, let's do that. Let's see if that changes things. Um, try to feel out the game again. All right. Uh, sure. Why not? Uh, both of you auto, because I, I cannot be trusted to aim my own attacks. Okay. Yep. I think they're using the anti-air attacks and missing. Oh, boy. Okay. Doing some damage, at least. That works. I'm gonna sleep in my bath. We got another C metabot part. Accident. Where? What happened to the bat guy? There he is. I wonder if uh, if it randomizes the meta part you get when you beat the battle. So I wonder if I rewind, if I can like kind of hunt for the parts that I need. That might work out. Wow, that worked out. <laughs> that worked out really well. All right, what happens if I rewind here? And then. Seems like it's determined. Oh, it's not. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Let's do that then. I only gotta fight him one more time. I think I'm only missing one part. Uh, let's let's try and uh, let's try it out. Let's try making a, a proper metabot. Let's see if this is different or if this helps things. All right, well, not not that. We'll keep your your scout thing on. All right, we got sonic missile. We got grave. How much is this going to affect you? Battling in plains and desert. Yeah, that doesn't really help. Let's see. Uh, let's see the difference with the with the bonus, if there is one. And I remain unconvinced. Yeah, I think I just. Oh no! I think I scouted. I was like, did I not attack? I think because this metabot is supposed to be anti-air, it seems kind of worthless to make it, um, to make it fire against non-airborne targets, if that makes sense. But, like, I can't change its parts, like, before the battle. Which is what, like, other games like this would kind of let you do. Like, oh, you're fighting this type of enemy? Well, maybe here's your chance to change your parts. Doesn't really seem like that's an option. It continues to take the heat off me, so that's something, but not working the way I want it to. There we go. Alright. Now to try and uh try and do this. So this these are two airborne metabots. Let's see if this works out. Yeah, it does do a lot of damage to these guys. Like a lot. But also, they do a lot of damage to me because I'm also an airborne metabot. So it doesn't work out the way I want it to. And wow, got it right off the bat, huh? Okay. <laughs> get it off the bat, because it's a bat metabot. <laughs> get it. <laughs> get it. You guys get it? Did you guys get it? It's like a bat. Alright. Um, so, again, this works really well in airborne metabots. The, part, the problem that it is, though, is that, like, the enemies in the area don't, like, all adhere to, like, one type of metabot. Like, they're not all, like, airborne C or stuff like that. Like, there's a mix and match of them. So it's like, I can't, like, I can't spec, like, the way I want to. Like, and by the way, it, I don't expect the game to be that easy. Like, I get that, like, they're not all going to be, like, the same parts. But I feel like an early game, like, that's when you would do it. 
My big thing is it doesn't feel like the, like the game is teaching you some stuff, but it's sort of like giving you like a wall of text of like stuff to do. But it's not like actively reinforcing those behaviors, if that makes sense. It's just sort of like, alright, and off you go. Figure it out, loser. Which is very, uh, very early 2000s gameplay des uh, design. It's like, ah, I don't know. Figure it out. You're a smart kid. Like, I'm not, though. Uh, okay. Let me pull up this guide that definitely doesn't work. Um, swept away by the currents. Uh, let's see. Go up a screen, talk to him. Now go far up, talk to the metabot between a cliff and a tree, prepare for a row battle. Okay. Go right and cross the bridge, walk all the way down and exit to another screen. You'll uh, budget a conversation, row battle the guy who made you fall into the river. It seems. Oh my god, we're not even done. This area is so long. All right. Hey, you're the middle that goes around ferrying people for a dollar. I'm really lucky to run into you here. So I just came here to deliver a customer. In fact, he paid for a round trip ticket, so I have to wait for him. Customer, did you bring someone here? Some guy dressed in a rubber suit. He kept saying Robo Robo all the time. That's a Robo Robo game. What are they doing in a place like this? Who knows, Zicky? Why are you wearing a kimono? I lost Candy's letter. Okay. Alright. So these are sea metabots. Which means, like, this isn't gonna work. I wonder if I can, like... No. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Other than my best. Sorry, pulling this up over the guide. Charging the metaphors, huh? His name is Pingin. Charging the metaphors, huh? Meta B? You gonna do it too? No, okay. I missed instead. Way better than charging the metaphor. I missed twice. Oh my god, okay. I missed again. Missed fourth time, missed a fifth time. Six. Seven. Took seven misses in a row and then didn't kill. This game rocks, dude. What a cool game. What is it doing? Is it like copying the parts? Still have not hit the main metabot. Okay. I'd said, si oh my god, he took my psycho missile part, my head part. Get out of here. You don't get to win. I guess it does, the game does let you lose. It's just that you lose a meta part, which I'm not really ready to, to let happen. Alright, what I'm learning is, uh, unless I'm specifically fighting air types, it's worthless. So I think I now kind of understand the point of having those nine slots, like for meta or metabots, is that you can build nine different metabots, and then before the battle starts, you can kind of be like, okay, well, I know where, which field we're on, and I know which metabots are fighting, and I'll pick a team based on that. It seems like that's kind of what the game wants you to do, which doesn't fucking work in early game. So, <laughs> so I'm just getting frustrated. God, I was so excited to get a second metabot, and then I was like, this thing sucks, I hate it. Uh, hey, the the bat metal wasn't worth it. Was not a was not a good starter choice. Um I'm gonna go full in on the scout. We're going full scout now. You exist only to help Metabe. That is your goal. Um I'll let you keep the uh the water part though, because I think that's gonna work better. I hope. Who knows? Who fucking knows, dude? I've not earned any money, by the way. None of these none of these robo fighters are dropping uh, money. They are dropping parts we can sell later, which just feels like a strange mechanic. Okay, let's do this. This seems like a good way to go until I get more meta parts. I'm doing auto so I can speed through this. I'm not going to do it for every battle, but it just seems like it makes more sense to do it while I'm like trying to get through the game. Okay, can you stop wrecking my uh, my poor my poor tank? Right my bath. Yeah, we got a uh, umbilical cord, I guess. I don't know. But it's best not to ask. Oh, there's a letter. Hey, by the way, this is the kind of game design stuff I'm talking about here. Unless there's a cutscene triggered here, nope. Then why, why, why make it like this? <laughs> why, why make it so you have to walk specifically on one side? What's the, what is the, what is the point of that? 
There's no way out now. Prepare yourself for from now on you work for the Robo Robo game. You, I'd rather work uh, Russ than work with you creeps. <laughs> we know you're bluffing. What are you guys doing? Wow, that's a suspicious looking guy. You are suspicious looking ones. Uh, well, we've been seen, so let's get him. He's got a rusty metabot. Robo 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 Robo. Alright guys. Let's try and not fuck up this time. That's my that's my goal today. Alright, target his legs or his head. Go for the head. Uh, target the, the scout. I don't know if like certain parts are better for uh, for increasing accuracy or if they all do the same thing. Uh, success rate of attack improved. Yeah. Hey, don't like get a crit and take me out. Also, how come Metabee never dodges things? Metabee always just takes shit. Rate of success down. Also, they spelled success wrong. There's two S's at the end. Oh boy, okay. This is, this is really fun. I think that's, that is cured. I think that's what that was. Uh, it seems to do the same thing. But th I don't see why I wouldn't just target the head, because I want to hit, and like, if they break a meta part, then I won't be able to do anything. Oh my god, dude, I hate- I love this mechanic, dude. You know what's a really fun mechanic? is missing. You know what Pokemon figured out after like, one or two gens? is like, hey, when moves miss a lot, players hate that shit. So we should not make it so moves constantly miss, it's not a fun gameplay experience. Welcome to every RPG ever, since like the year fucking 2001. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm, uh, I'm a little heated right now. The game, When the game works, it's fun. Like when the game is just like, when you're just battling and customizing stuff, it's fun. The difficulty curve this early is ridiculous. Uh, on top of that, it's just like... Just like, oh my god, the difficulty curve, the fucking misses, like, there's so much. I'm just like, you can't do anything about it. It's all RNG-based. Like, the, oh my god, not being able to choose which meta part to hit is wild. What an insane decision. Like, there has to be a better way. Like, make it, like, a, a very easy fix is, like, you can't target the head until you destroy all the other three parts of the body. And then you can choose which ones you'd want to defeat in, like, whatever order you decide. Instantly, a better game. Like, it's just like... Because it's so frustrating when you make an attack and it doesn't kill. And then you're like, okay, well, let's hope I get to attack that meta part again. It's just so weird. Like, I get that maybe it's, like, more realistic because... Like, realistic, quote-unquote. I get that it's, like, more... Kind of like, like the show is, right? Because, like, they're constantly just, like, taking shots and, like, getting lucky and stuff like that. It's not fun in a video game. Like, it's just aggravating. I also don't know if that, um, if the, keep, if I keep increasing the scout thing, if it stacks. I don't know if it's just like a one kind of effect. Okay, good. We defeated Water Mew. Function ceased. The winner is Metabee. We got like, oh, we got Teacup. Neat. I don't know what that second Metabot was supposed to be doing. I feel like it didn't do its job. You're pretty good. When will they give up doing this? <laughs> Today we got the upper hand. Alright. Pincer attack, you cowards. We're evil, we can get away with it. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Set the table with finery. Let us stop picking at our food. Burning like the hottest spiceroni. From the darkest comes the mystery meta fighter, the Phantom Renegade! Phantom Renegade is a pretty great name. Wherever there is evil, the Phantom Renegade will be there. He's so cool. Weirdo. Robo. And that guy is absolutely nuts. You're the last guys who should be saying that. I'll punish you. Why oh, he's coming this way. Robo! Robo Retreat. I wonder if he's going to be like, Icky, why are you wearing a dress? Hmm. Holy Meta Roly. Oh, jeez. Oh. Alright. You just scared the Robo Robo gang. Like it was nothing. Hmm. They're not worth my time. More importantly, are you okay? Yes, sir. It's good. Listen up, boy. 
Evil is not always what you can see and feel. Sometimes it hides behind other illusions. Huh? What? Eh? Certain we'll meet again in the near future. Adios. <laughs> so pointless. <laughs> wow, the Phantom Renegade is so cool. Oh man, I forgot to ask for his autograph. I mean, I should have asked him to take me back up the waterfall. Hey man, are you okay? Thanks, you saved me. Those guys live here. Uh, those guys live here, capture metabots, and make them work for their gang. I see, so that's their game. Uh, hey, I'll give you a lift if you want to go back. Uh, I can let someone ride on me, but only for a short while. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Not falling for this shit, okay? I want this letter. Shouldn't be doing this, but I gotta read it. Dear Natsuko, I'm doing well these days. Everyone is doing fine, too. It's a little weird because Yanagi hasn't come home. I hope that he hasn't been caught by any evil people. Love, Grandma. Is this that old woman's letter? Now you take me back. Come on, ride, ride. All right, thanks, Ben. Oh, wait, okay, so let me control after that. I freaked out for nothing. I I would not have put it past port this game to be like, all right, now walk all the way fucking back and get the letter, idiot. Like, <laughs> come on, stupid. Oh, it's this guy again. Are you a bird, Metabot? Are those talons? I only just realized this. I lost Candy's letter. Is this letter you wanted? Oh, you found it. I'll go deliver it. You lost the letter. <gasps> now I've lost the letter. Something feels weird. That old woman is really scary, but I should ask her. I have newt scales of snake. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Uh, 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 excuse me. Oh, are you back, dearie? Just about done with dinner. Hee <laughs> hee. I don't want any. Um, I read your letter and saw something about y Yanagi, and I was wondering. This might have some meaning for you. Well, I can tell you the story if you want to hear about it. I used to live with my granddaughter, Natsuko. Natsuko and Yanagi met each other when she got lost before. When she left this house, Yanagi also left for somewhere. I'm wondering how Yanagi is doing now. Who is Yanagi? The ghost metabot. The ghost? I'm worried about Yanagi. I haven't taken care of him at all, so he's probably rusted out. I get it now. The ghost is a metabot. It's Yanagi. You say something? Never mind. Don't worry. Yanagi will come back safely. You say some strange things. By the way, if you're going back, I'll have my little one wait outside. He can transport not only letters, but people, too. Ma'am. I said to call me Cammy. Or Cammy. Right. Thank you, Cammy. Hold on there. Before you go, take this. Okay. What's this for? Big box and little box. Which one do you pick? Hee hee. Mm, it's like out of a fairy tale. Uh, what did I do recently that had the big box, little box thing? I forget. Um... Let's see, talk to Grandma, talk to her prize, note that you can only take one of the two prizes. The left one is a skeleton of a male metabot, while the right box is a skeleton of a female metabot. Okay. Uh, choose, wisely, or choose wisely on which you want, as it will determine the easiest in the next area you're going to visit after this. I choose a male pin, tin pet as I have as many meta parts for male tin pet. You'll also receive money. Take note that, that she will present you with brass meta parts if you pick the female skeleton and some money. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll grab the female one then. Take the big box? Yes. The female tin pet. Got the head meta part. Variable hair. Uh, Pateri Vulcan. Short sh short shot and flare gather. Got one dollar. <laughs> wonder what's inside the small box. I like living here. I get to live here in peace and quiet with the meta bots. But will you come and visit me every now and then? I mean, maybe. Probably not. Alright. Here we go. Female tin pet with dreads. Uh, I have no metal for you. Fuck! God damn it! Ah! <laughs> Sucks! Uh. Let me. Uh. God, this sucks! I think I could. Oh. You know why I'm so mad right now? I think if I had talked to that guy again, he would have given me another medal. Ah! Uh. <laughs> All right, we only have so many metabots here. Uh, <laughs> cure hand, sure. Short sight, short or short shot, flare gather. I mean, I don't have any other options. Fuck, dude, <laughs> this sucks. I hate this. No fucking metal. Uh. <laughs> Let me quickly look. There's there's a place I could have got a metal from because this guide is not great. I mean, the, the dude wrote it himself, so it's fine. <sighs> Metabots. Meta B. Metal locations. That's probably fine. Um, where are all the metals? 
It's on Supersheets.com. That's how old this game is. Uh, oh my god, this doesn't help me either. Is there really no, like, straight up guide? List of medals. Here we go. Sort of. Uh, first appearance. No, this is just like a list in every single one. Uh, I hate this. I hate you. Uh, guides. Let's see. Metabot Isle, for chance, this, then, or who shows, Secret Psycho. Oh, you suck. Okay. Maybe we should just take a different one. What guide am I reading right now? Who, who wrote this one? Let me see. Uh, this is the Kenshin Extreme one. Can we go to a different one? Maybe, maybe this will be better. Hey, Emperor Justinian, what do you think? You want to you wanna be a new, uh, uh, you want a new one? Or uh, want to be a new guide? My last guide was failing me. Um, let's search the letter. That should take me close enough. On your way down, take left side, you'll see the rubber roads. Take the right, you'll see the rubber roads run into them. We're trying to do that. Let's beat that. Afterwards, they'll distract Icky long enough for two more. Work at the ranch. Uh, give Icky so, uh, so they can leave and head back in here. Talk to explain that Natsuko's daughter. Goes to Metabot and they're left elsewhere. Things will begin to click in place for Icky. She then offers these for Metabot. Layout. Uh, you get a mail button chip to make you large. You get a. Uh, don't forget to equip your new tin pet to use in battle later on. I mean, it did say later on, so it doesn't say right now. Uh, afterwards, head outside and talk to that straight. Uh, like it's it okay. So it seems like I'm on the right track. All right. Uh, cool. Well, that seems like a pretty natural stopping point. Hey, we made progress today. Oh, holy shit, we made progress. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't be me. Um, uh, so I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I I'm I'm in this weird middle zone for the game, right? I was very excited in part one. Part two, I was sort of like, all right, uh, yeah, it's fine. Part three, I was like, this sucks. <laughs> but I like kept it inside. And then in part four, I had my fucking meltdown. Uh, so this is part five. I, I'm I'm back in the middle. I'm back where I was in part two, where I'm like, this is fine, right? It's not. I don't think it's great, but I don't think it's as bad as I thought it was before. So, so things are improving. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real with you guys a little bit here. Uh, YouTube, I am not in YouTube's good graces at the moment. I don't know what, how else to describe it. So, uh, ever since my Breath of the Wild playthrough that I did, all of my analytics are much worse. <laughs> like, this is how badly Breath of the Wild affected the channel. Uh, it's. Um, so like even videos that have nothing to do with what I'm recording, like I'll use the example of, uh, my Pokemon Infinite Fusion playthrough, the full 48 hour video, like giant playthrough that usually would get me like, I'd get like probably like 150 to like 300 views on that a day. Uh, it just keeps doing well. And there are a bunch of other videos like that. Like the best of Gilgamesh video does pretty well still. Um, like I have a lot of videos that just like, you know, they, they just do okay. Like even if I, even whatever, even if whatever I'm recording currently isn't doing as well, I have like other videos that like do do well regardless. Since the Breath of the Wild playthrough, even videos that normally do well <laughs> are now like getting like half the views they used to. And don't get me wrong. Some of that is just probably like chance, you know, whatever. Maybe like Pokemon Confusion isn't so hot right now. I get it, right? It's not like, it's not like a definitive thing. But it really, really feels like like the algorithm is like, all right, this guy is not, we, we don't need him anymore. Like it feels like, I felt like I was doing really, really well for like a year. And then it kind of like reset all my progress <laughs> when I did the Breath of the Wild playthrough. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know what, if it was YouTube, I don't know if it was just the audience, anything. All of that to say, I can't believe I'm being the guy to say this, but like, if you enjoy this series and you would like to see more of it, leave comments, leave likes, let me know what you're thinking. And then A, I'll be more likely to record more of it. But also, more importantly, let's get back in the good graces of YouTube. <laughs> let's get that engagement up. Let's drive that up. I hate to be the guy being like, like, subscribe and hit the bell. <laughs> but like, apparently YouTube is like, no, you say that or your channel is going to die. So <laughs> I mean, like, I'm asking for your help here. I, I played another Metabots video. The series is not over. I took a little, I took a little break, but we're back. Let me know how appreciative you are that it's back. Let me know if you have any other tips reactions stuff like that and for the love of god and i mean this under do not tell me play whatever you want it's currently my like trigger phrase <laughs> i swear it's currently like it's really setting me off at the moment so don't say that and you're gonna some of you're gonna be thinking 
funny joke. Let me just write, <laughs> let me just write, uh, play whatever you want. I'll ban you. I don't care if you're a YouTube member. I don't care. My, 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 <laughs> my stress is at its limit. Okay. We're, we're lucky we got this video. Let's not, don't ruin, a, don't ruin a good thing for everyone else. Okay. But, uh, no, seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate the, I appreciate all the comments you guys left on part four. Uh, that you, like, I understand that what you guys were trying to say is like, Hey Nick, we don't want you to kill yourself for this video. Like, we don't need to like, you know, be like dreading doing videos and stuff like that. That I do appreciate. That is a very good sentiment. Thank you. Uh, and I do appreciate that you guys are still interested. Uh, I try to play video or play games that you guys really enjoy. I try to strike the balance of like what I enjoy, what you enjoy, and sometimes just what makes good content. Sometimes angry is funny, haha. Huh? But like, I have been having a little bit of a rougher time. Work is kind of stressful. Uh, I've been streaming really stressful games every Sunday for like a month now. <laughs> So, like, my nerves aren't where they should be baseline. So, I'm just, like, slightly more. So, I really appreciate you guys hanging in there. And I appreciate you guys uh, liking the video, subscribing, becoming members, and stuff like that. Honestly, at the end of the day, that's that's part of why I do it, right? The first reason is attention. I really like attention. The, <laughs> the second reason is that it gives me a good excuse to play games that, like, I wouldn't otherwise have the motivation to play. Like, like I've talked about how I'm a big trophy hunter. That's usually the only way I can play games at this point is because I need, like, a motivation to play it. So the YouTube allows me to do that. Like, I don't think I ever would have played this game if I wasn't, if I didn't have a YouTube channel. Um, and most importantly, it's the, it's the support from you guys. That's what I really enjoy. That's, it's, it's really cool interacting with you guys and having like a kind of community and stuff like that. So, uh, thank you again. Uh, you already know what to do if you, if you enjoyed this video. Uh, some of you are going to be tempted to make a joke to say, play whatever you want. G give it a couple months. Yeah, let me, let me, <laughs> let me wind down. I'm still pretty wound up. Uh, don't, don't be that guy. It's just mean. It's not funny. It's just mean. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next part, whenever that may be. Spoiler, it's next week. Alright, bye guys.